assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel i am saman here with a new topic in my uh, previous video we have discussed about nouns so today we are going to study countable nouns and uncountable noun what are countable nouns and what is uncountable noun we are going to study one by one before that you know that um that what are nouns i told you that nouns are naming words anything that has a name is called a noun so countable noun what are countable nouns countable itself is telling you that something which is countable that the thing that you can count a countable noun can be singular or it can be plural for example here you can see on the screen banana it is one banana and then there are three bananas it is countable banana is a countable noun countable nouns are things we can count we can say one banana two banana etc then what are uncountable nouns uncountable noun are the uh, nouns that you cannot count although they look like uh, in great amount but still you cannot count them for example rice you can hear uh, you can see that an uncountable noun has only one form we uh, we can't say rices no it will be wrong uncountable nouns are things we can't count we can't put an s uh, on an uncountable noun we can't say one rice two rices etc this is wrong so uncountable nouns are the nouns which cannot be countable although they may in greater amount but uh, they are now it is impossible to count them here this is very clear from uh, this picture that countable nouns they can be singular or plural like an apple some apples an is used with apple because a is a vowel we know that there are five vowels a e i o u and with them we use an so apples are countable you can say an apple some apples three apples many apples like this now uncountable nouns examples are they are always singular like coffee milk money pasta uh, most of the uh, most of the people they get confu confused with money that money is countable we can count yes smaller amount of money is countable 10 15 100 1000s but uh, money is considered uncountable we cannot count money because it has no limit okay so these are the examples of uncountable noun coffee milk money and pasta okay uh, with this topic i think this is uh, more important the use of much and many that's why i have included let's see when we use much and when we use many here you can see the books what do you think that what you can say that uh, there are how many books do you have we are not going to uh, books are countable so you, you have to use many with them okay now see money so what question will be how much money do you have you will not say how many money do you have you will say how much money do you have this picture shows that the books the things which are countable we use many with them and the things which are uncountable we use much with them here you can see we use how much and how many to ask about quantity we use how much for questions with uncountable nouns for example how much money do you have how much sugar is there in the kitchen then how many we use how many for questions with countable nouns how many students are there in the school how many chairs are there in the kitchen so how much is used with uncountable nouns and how many is used with countable noun now uh, it will be very much clear with, uh, to you with this picture much means a large amount of or a lot in quantity many also means a large number of or a lot in number okay but the thing is that uh, here we are having a number that we can count but here we are having an amount that we cannot count used with uncountable nouns much is used with uncountable nouns and many is used with countable nouns use in negative and interrogative clauses negative means negation in which the sentences which are uh, which negate something they are called negative sentences not is used in negative sentences and interrogative clauses are in which some question is asked so many is used in questions it means interrogative affirmative affirmative sentences are the positive sentences simple positive sentences are called affirmative sentences like she is going she is going to school this is affirmative sentence and negations means negative sentences so this uh, this is very clear to you from here now we are going to solve this exercise this is very easy first solve it by yourself then check the answers how dash mangoes are there in the basket now try to solve it by yourself i am just reading it then i will show you the answers 
there is not dash water in the pond how dash gold do you have dash children are working in the class there are dash birds in the cage how dash work is missing how dash flowers are there in the walls how dash time do you need to finish your work so let's check the answer now i hope you have done it by yourself see how many mangoes are there in the basket mangoes are countable nouns so we have to use many there is not much water in the pond water is uncountable so we have used much how much gold do you have you can't count the gold you can count the gold bangles but you cannot count gold itself so much is used many children are working in the class children are countable there are many birds in the cage birds are countable okay i want to tell you here that children is plural and one ch uh, one if you are having a one uh, small kid then you are going to say child child children child is singular and children is plural we don't say children's okay many children are working in the class there are many birds in the cage how much work is missing work is uncountable how many flowers are there in the walls flowers are countable how much time do you need to finish your work time is also uncountable because you can uh, count the hours but time itself is uncountable so this is all for today's lesson it's very easy today we have started about countable and uncountable nouns and the use of much and many okay this is a quotation for you a happy ending quotation that think happy and say happy stay happy if definitely if your uh, thinking is positive you will stay happy the whole day okay have a good day allah hafiz